Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would take you through my winter wardrobe essentials. I did this for autumn and I've had so many questions saying, can I do it again for winter? So yeah, hope you enjoy. So first up, I thought I'd take you through the most wintry pieces, which in my opinion is like coats, jackets. So I've got a pile here of about six, I think, different kinds slash styles of jacket that I think are perfect for winter. First up we have like big trench long coats but like the woolen kind of ones rather than the thinner more autumnal like texture fabric whatever it's called. I am obsessed with it every single time I've gone out since I bought it I've pretty much put it on. It's that kind of coat that you just want to wear with every outfit but this is from Primark. Believe it or not Primark, I think it was either 35 or 45 pounds. Either way, I would have paid double easily for this coat. I love it. It's got this belt, which is actually attached to the thing. I don't know if you're meant to take it out or not, but I like that it stays there. I'm not having to faff around with whether the belt's falling out or anything. Like, I like the fact that it's in there. I also love these details. I think these make it look so much more expensive as well on the arms. I love it. It's also really warm. It keeps you warm. Obviously, you can't go out with nothing on and it'll keep you warm but like it's it it keeps you warm to a reasonable amount for like a non padded jacket coat then we have like an aviator jacket now i have two of these one is cropped one is not um this one is from stradivarius i got it from asos though so i don't know whether they stock different things on asos but i will try and find all the links to everything and put them in the description for you but this is just so beautiful i love it it's really thick as well like it's nicely like lined as well it's just yeah really sorry i'm fucking about to sneeze it's a really nice coat and then i have this one from cider which is just a longer version of this one basically they're literally like identical this is just a longer one this is a cropped one so yeah cider for this one as well both of these the like teddy lining goes all the way through which i really appreciate i feel like it just makes it warmer then we have your basic black puffer jacket now this is the north face one obviously it's on the higher end probably the higher the high end of winter jacket puffer jacket things i love it i think it's so warm it's so cozy if you have more of a budget to spend i'd definitely invest it in this i think it's nice this one's from jd um but I love it. I got this in a medium as well, just for reference. But actually, I do have a kind of, not dupe, but it's like a hooded puffer coat from Cider as well, which is actually downstairs because I wore it out yesterday. And it's in the cloak cupboard. Cloak cupboard? Cloak cupboard. don't know. But I have that one again from Cider. It's much cheaper and it does the same job. Then another kind of more, I don't know, I feel like trench coats are more like formal, but... I wear them very casually, but this is another one. Again, Primark. I'm not a Primark shopper, but I have quite a few things from Primark in this haul because I went in one day and literally got all of this stuff from Primark that I've got in this haul. But the winter stuff, like the coats, I'm going to give it to them. They are really good. So this one again, Primark, I think this one was a £35 one. It's got slightly less details on it. There's no like buckles on the sleeves or the arms, but again, it's not necessary. I do definitely prefer the grey one. But I love this as well. I think it's so nice. Before I got the grey one, I was like, obsessed with this one. And now that I've got this one, now that I've got the grey one, I'm like less obsessed with this. But still, I feel like it's a great staple to have in your wardrobe. It goes with everything. Obviously, it's literally a black coat. And last but not least, can you tell that I'm obsessed with big long coats this winter? This one is from Cider and it's like a teddy material on the outside. And like the buckle, buckle buttons are like a... Um, tortoise shell kind of vibe which i think makes it look so expensive it's nice and thick it's big i love it the only downside i have is that it is lined with like the fabric rather than the teddy which i would appreciate if it was the teddy but again it's quite a cheap coat like you'd be paying much higher prices to have the teddy all through a long coat i just that is me for this winter i will be wearing long coats exclusively apart from a puffer coat and an aviator jacket but yeah love i think they're such an essential and this i love it so moving on to jumpers hoodies tracksuits that kind of thing this is where i love 
winter. A tracksuit, a hoodie, a jumper just makes my heart happy. And these three, if you did watch my Primark haul, you'll know what these are already, but these three are from Primark and they were 15 pounds. And I do love them. I have one criticism about one of them, but we'll get to that. They're a really nice neckline, just really nice i think they go with a lot of things i've been posting them with like jeans this one with like black jeans the other ones with gray jeans or blue jeans if you want like anything i think they're such a good staple for a winter wardrobe they also had loads of different colors so yeah i got more basic colors obviously but if you wanted to branch out you could this is the other color that i got well another one of the colors that i got a more light gray i also got these in a size large for reference they're not meant to be oversized i believe but obviously I wanted them oversized then last but not least is the cream one and my only criticism is the quality of this one is slightly damaged it's got like a small hole here and that wasn't from me like sticking a finger through it or anything that was just it appeared I mean I can stitch it back up but it's definitely more of a worse quality piece than something more expensive but what would you expect it's Primark so yeah that's the only thing i would say like it's i'm it's not stopping me wearing it at all it's still wearable it's fixable that's fine and it was 15 pounds at the end of the day and i have worn it like a fair few times already so i have definitely got the wear out of it already and it's not going to stop me if that makes sense then for hoodies we all know where i'm going with this we all know what brand these are going to be from but this is my first kind of winter staple hoodie with the matching tracksuits this is a sisters and seekers hoodie obviously if you didn't know that was coming out of my mouth and you haven't been watching me for long enough but it comes with well it doesn't come with but you can buy matching tracksuits like tracksuit bottoms which I love I love a matching tracksuit something about it is just you're comfy but you look put together like you know that you've picked out those two pieces because they match that's just I like that I just love these so much. Again, not sponsored, but if you are going to buy anything from Sisters and Seekers, I do have a code to save you some money, which is DAISY10. So yeah, actually I'll put all my discount codes in the description if you are going to get anything. This is not a sponsored video, just to say. Um, but I do have discount codes to save you some money. So I'll put them down there with the links and everything so you can save a bit of cash. Next is a basic grey hoodie. Again, it doesn't have to be a Sisters and Seekers hoodie, but... If you're feeling like you're going to treat yourself to a hoodie that is going to last you and keep you warm and be comfy go for it like love these so much this is like my i think this is my first ever sisters and seekers hoodie probably got it about a year ago but love it so much just a gray hoodie it can go with jeans it can go with leggings it can go with gray like gray joggers not that these are like the exact matching ones but it can go with literally anything yeah i just love a gray hoodie I feel like you've all seen my hoodie collection way too many times so I'm not going to go through all my hoodies but if you do want to see my whole hoodie collection I literally did a my hoodie collection video so you can find that and they're all linked in there as well I'm pretty sure but that is the hoodies and jumper section kind of done. For jeans I've been very ruthless with my selections I have way too many pairs of jeans in my wardrobe and 90% of them I will say don't see the light of day. I do always think like if I have a pair of jeans that I love why would I then wear a pair of jeans that don't look quite as good as them like we know I don't care about repeating an outfit or repeating something that I'm wearing for me if you've got clothes in your wardrobe that you wear like you wear them don't not wear them because you've worn them before I, I don't know that logic just doesn't make sense to me my two most worn winter jeans are going to be these two just because I'm not really a blue jean girl in winter I like to dress dark clothes like in dark clothes in winter like that kind of vibe so these two are definitely my go-tos but I thought if you're a blue jean kind of girl I'll include ones that I love there so for the black jeans these are from white fox I think they're called fashion society jeans I literally love them they are so flattering they're the perfect for me they're the perfect waistline they're below the belly button but they kind of are a bit rounded so they're flattering they don't squish your bum in when you're working with what I'm working with. That is just perfect. But love these so much as well. They're a nice washed black. So yeah, my faves. Then we have these grey jeans, which are from Pretty Little Thing. They're like £26. And for me, I've never been a girl that likes really expensive denim. Like, I've actually never had a pair of like Levi's jeans or anything. I just think I have always been a Pretty Little Thing, White Fox kind of jean 
go. I don't see the point in spending £100 on a pair of jeans. It just doesn't make sense to me when there's stuff that literally looks the exact same. Also, Zara for me. A Zara jean has never fit me properly. It's either way too big on my waist or it fits my waist and my legs are like being suffocated. I'm just not a Zara jean girl. However, these Pretty Little Thing ones, I love them so much. I have these in a size UK 6 and I went for their 6 because I wanted them a bit baggy. So I'm normally like a UK 4 in most things, but jeans I always, always, always size up because I just like a baggier jean on me. So I'd say they're, they're quite true to size. So if you do want them true to size, like take your normal size. That was like the most ramble way of saying that true to size. But they're nice and long. They're definitely like taller girl friendly. I'm 5'7 and I'm trying to think where they come up to on me. I think they, they go past my ankles. So if you're taller than me, I think you'll still be fine. But they definitely do like tall jeans and pretty little thing as well. But these are like grey faded jeans. I think they look so flattering. I love them. For blue jeans, these are ripped. So it's kind of like... Oh, am I really going to wear ripped jeans in winter? But these are Pretty Little Thing as well. I always like stumble over my words when I'm saying Pretty Little Thing. Um, these are called, I think they're called slash leg jeans. And I got these in a size 8. So they're definitely not meant to be an oversized jean. I actually do have them in a 4 as well. And they just, they're, they're kind of like a skinny jean. They're not really like a straight straight leg jean or anything. So if you do want them baggy like how I have them... I would maybe suggest going up two sizes or just order both and send one back if that makes sense. Yeah, again, I think these were like £25. So love them. I've had these for probably a year now. So yeah. Now for base layers, that kind of thing. I love a base layer because I think like literally what I'm doing right now, I've got joggers on, then I've got my base layer. And then if I go out, I can either chuck a hoodie, I can chuck a coat over and it just looks put together. So I love base layers. So first up, this one is Skims. I did buy this last year I think and I remember when I bought it I literally looked at the price and thought am I really gonna let that leave my bank account for one item I think it's 60 pounds for a bodysuit it sounds ridiculous however I'd probably say this is one of my most reworn base layers that I have I mean obviously I've had it for longer than my other ones but I will always reach for this if I know I need a good quality thick bodysuit I would say definitely like a Christmas list thing let santa sort that one out instead of you yourself but yeah i love the skims bodysuit this is a fits everybody crew neck bodysuit i believe and i got mine an extra extra small so we then have this one and i know this because it's short sleeve you're probably thinking does it short sleeve it's winter but i am kind of a culprit of wearing a long sleeve top under a short sleeve top if i know i'm gonna have a jacket on who is going to know that my sleeves are like mismatched to my top? Nobody. So I think for this, I don't know if they do a long sleeve version of this. They might do, but I just don't have it. This is from another version and I have the matching leggings. I think under like a nice big coat with like some Ugg boots or something, I just think it would look so cute, especially with a long sleeve potentially underneath. But this is so nice. It's such a nice colour. It definitely gives skims. It's nice it's a different texture definitely but the quality is beautiful with all of these pieces from another version also the leggings aren't see-through which i really appreciate there's nothing worse than a see-through legging i would probably say opt for a nude pant just in case but i didn't have any problems while wearing it then i have a matching brown set from Azanola. the top is currently hanging up here i'll get it down this is in kind of like a scuba i don't really i'm not really the most technical word user for fabrics but it's in a nice kind of thick fabric it's in shade coffee bean i believe and the matching set is just lovely i think a matching set with tracksuits or a matching set with base layers both just look so put together so yeah love this so much also i think the color brown is beautiful for winter i did my nails brown this time excuse the patchy fit i need to take it off but i'm obsessed with my nails this time um so yeah brown is definitely in i've just realized that you all of these base layers apart from this one and two others are from another version but this is a long sleeve black top it does kind of give the same as this it's just not a bodysuit and it's definitely a different fabric but 
it gives the tight black long sleeve top effect so if you don't want to splurge on the skims this is definitely a good alternative again i really like the like minimalistic branding on the back so yeah that's a really nice alternative for winter in my opinion you can never have enough basic long sleeve tops and these ones from adenola are probably the best for the long sleeve top i love the material it's this one is covered in some sort of jumper's fluff because I must have worn it underneath the jumper. But the material is so soft. It is so, so comfy. Just lovely material. They are quite expensive. I think they're about 39, 40 pounds for a top. But to me, it's worth it. They are just beautiful. This is also the grey one that I have. I love it. I never used to be a grey girl. I think I said that in another video. And then literally since I got this, I haven't taken it off unless I need to wash it, which I need to wash it again because I have got makeup all over this, which is disgusting. But yeah, love these ones so much. Then this is something that is kind of like silly, but I love a sock that has branding on it. I have my Adenola ones, which I love so much. I just think they look so put together. You're probably thinking, Daisy, what are you talking about? It's a sock. But I just love it and these ones i actually got sent the other day which i think are so cool they say another then version on them but these are just an example of the kind of sock i love the abnola ones these ones just the basic simple writing i think looks so nice now moving on to accessories my scarf collection is really nice now i think so i have this one from h&m it's like a jacquemus dupe it's got like the writing in white or you can tie this when it's white with grey so i definitely wear it probably more with the white side showing just because i prefer that look i think this was like 15 pounds so really nice scarf love it i thought it was a bit expensive for a scarf i'm not gonna lie but compared to the jacquemus one it's an absolute bargain then i have this black scarf from cider it's kind of the nice fluffy soft material i love it the bottom bits are kind of twisted like that i think it's a bit different yeah love this so much i think it just at the end of the day a scarf is there to keep you warm but you don't want like an ugly one in this i mean it's a plain black scarf let's be honest but love it then this one is primark last year but i think you can still buy them now but i bought this last year and i just love it i think it's so nice it's a really nice texture again it's the same kind of soft material as that black one and I think this is probably about five. I can't remember, but it's Primark at the end of the day. So let's be honest, it's going to be cheap. Then for bags, my two most used bags, I would say, are this one. This Both of them are from Miss Lola, actually. They're the same kind of bag, but just different styles-ish. So this one is this kind of camel colour and this woven texture. And it's got a strap that's like this. The only thing I will say, if you live in the UK, the postage is like £15. But actually this bag, as of about two days ago, was on sale. So if you do want to get it, the shipping included will still be slightly cheaper than the bag normally is. So kind of means the shipping's free. Not really, but you know what I mean. So this is just such a lovely bag. It's got like a clasp that you twist to open. So you can't like... I always think when I'm walking around London, it means no one can like just open your bag and take something out of it because I'd need to do that I mean these pit boiters they probably would laugh at me for saying that but you know it makes me feel a bit more safe what have I got in there some Neurofen and a tampon but <laughs> I use this all the time I love it so much then this one is the black one I don't like the strap as much because it's one strap that's kind of got two sections to it I've tied it up inside just because I don't really like it quite as much but it doesn't really do anything because when i put it on you can't see the strap so you know it's kind of just like a practical thing that i've got with it but apart from that love it so much what have i got in here barley body tinted super serum the brush that i use it for are my house keys lovely that's like a little inside my bag kind of thing but love this so much I've, I've literally said love this so much to everything i'm actually so sorry can i expand my vocabulary clearly not but I was just about to say, but I love this. So that is kind of everything I'd say is in my winter wardrobe 
essential kind of category of clothes i think it's kind of like a capsule wardrobe the kind of things that you can just chuck together and they all make an outfit with each other with some exemptions but you know they all basically go together it's just basic stuff that will look so nice in winter but anyway i'm rambling on if you do want to get anything i'll leave all the links in the description box along with discount codes and that kind of thing but yes if you did enjoy please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video love you